Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is part two. On uh, this video, we're gonna talk about real quick about the speech recognition namespace from Microsoft. So what I did as the previous uh, video is add reference to the speech namespace. After that, I have added this namespace to the, my project. Now in this video, the previous video, I'll show you how you can use the synthesis. That is, to have the computer <coughs> to uh, say something based on the text that you can you pass on. So, like this, one of the methods is to speak, and then you pass on a string and other uh, objects. But in this case, if it's simple, I'm just passing it. Right. That was on the first video. On this video, we're talking about the recognition, speech recognizer function. And it's quite simple to use. Uh, we're going to try to do it on this video. But one of the examples that I found was that for this example, you have choices. So basically, you're going to build a grammar object and this object takes choices. One of the argument over them it takes choices. In this example we're gonna have color green, red and blue. So you pass on the right string. That's the argument in one of them. And then you can go ahead and append the choices to the one you're building. After that, you can build an actual grammar. So this object takes the grammar builder, which we can see the pass to initialize. From there, that's where you can start your speech recognition recognizer. That's when you call the grammar, and basically it contains all the recognizer that's in the grammar. And here, you can see I have uh, two events. One is about recognize, and the second is the text. So we can see how this goes. It begins with an objective. Basically, um, it's depending on the confidence and the behavior you want to recognize. So go ahead and see it, and now you can go see it. Now, if it does work, it does recognize the grammar, it will go ahead and speak it out loud. Some I did start to work. Yeah, this again we're using uh, this user is a speech recognizer initializer. And if I need to go to the program of the microphone here, I can go there and run it on my favorite user. It has this problem right here. It's like So just be aware that if the first time you run it, just go to the end and use it for the speech recognition option where you can set it up. So just follow the reason, search it out, and then you will get this nice program for you. So what you can do is you can click on the first one here and it's passing on the See here it's all taken care of right here. So right now I'm going to go to the next one. You can see it 
So as you can see, so far I've been trying to do it, but it's not recognizing, probably because of my microphone. Uh, but you do can see, you can see on this console that it's giving you a zero, and that means that it's not confident enough to say that it did recognize what I'm saying. So in here, it did see that it's black, what I said. And it's giving it giving us a number back. But that's not what uh, if you have at least you need to have at least zero point five and then you recognize or you know recognize what I'm saying or the grammar that I'm saying. But black it's still not recognizing. Now I'm sure this is uh, my microphone is really bad. But I'm gonna pause the video and see if I can get this one. Okay, it looks like it's working. So I'm gonna try it again. Black. He said black. Red. Green. He said green. Black. He said black. Blue. Blue. Black. Black. Green. He said green. So as you can see, it does recognize black and green, but it's having issues with color blue. 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 Green. He said green. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Stop the video. Uh, it have some issues, as you can see. Uh, one one of the re recommended things to do is to have a microphone that you can actually plug in via USB, and you will have a better result than I do. But at least it will give you an example that it will recognize, and depending on what it does uh, recognize in this event, depending on the text. You can have here like a switch or an if or something like that, and you can make your computer do different things. So it's kind of interesting, but uh, the key thing is that the grammar has to match, or the your microphone has to be really good so it can understand uh, what you have in your grammar. So thank you for watching. Until next time.